This is Eddie Nketiah, and he is the best striker in the Premier League. Oh, sh Who the fuck is that guy? All right, second best striker in the Prem. Anyway, today we're going to be putting Eddie up there with the greats. And to do that, he's going to need one of these, a Ballon d'Or. So ladies and gentlemen, join me as we make Eddie Nketiah the best football player in the world. All right, so our first season is here as Eddie Nketiah. As you can see, we are 75 rated, but we are a sub, unfortunately, because in this game, Jesus is not injured, like in real life. But it, that does not mean that I can't work my way into the starting 11 by giving good performances. So that is what we're going to go ahead and do. Right now it is pre-season, so we're going to try and impress Arteta in our pre-season games and see what we can do. Come on. Go on, Eddie. Go on, Eddie. Eddie. Eddie slots it and makes it 2-2. Two, two. Let's go. But it wasn't long until Felipe Anderson would deliver a lethal blow that would knock us out of our preseason tournament. No. no. Oh my god. And with that final lethal blow, Arsenal's time in the Champions Trophy was over and Nketiah's time to prove himself to Arteta had gone. All he could focus on now was heading back to the Premier League and impressing him when he came on as a sub for games over in London. A few weeks later, back over in London, we had our first chance as Nketiah was coming on to fill the boots of Gabriel Jesus. Could he prove to Arteta that he was worthy of getting a shot in the starting 11? I don't know the guard. Eddie and Ketia, we're looking for that run. There's that run. Oh my god, we're swinging it out wide. It doesn't matter though, we still got it. Saka, still got it. Saka plays it back. We're making something of it. Eddie and Ketia on the turn. Shoots. Oh. Still got it though. Eddie and Ketia once again turns his man again. Finds the angle and finally slots it. Eddie and Ketia gets his goal at last. Opening game of the season coming on as a sub. And look at the boys all rushing him. That's what we're talking about. Eddie Nketiah makes it 1-0 here at home at the Emirates Stadium against Everton. And that is that full-time Eddie Nketiah coming on to fill the boots of Gabriel Jesus. And he does just that, making it 1-0 at the Emirates Stadium and giving us that win. Is Arteta going to be impressed? Is he finally going to see a spark in us? Is he going to move us up a bit? towards that starting squad. A very impressive game for Eddie Nketiah as he picked up man of the match, but still not enough to prove to Mikel Arteta that we were worthy of starting. So with that, it was on to our next game in the Europa League where we were taking on the mighty PSV. Eddie Nketiah, through ball to Saka, that's on. Can Saka finish it? And yes, he does. Eddie Nketiah with the assist, through ball to Saka, 1-1, one, one. we're back in it. Another great game for Eddie as he comes on and gets an assist that helped Arsenal level with PSV, but still not doing enough to prove that he is worthy of starting in that striker position as he doesn't manage to get himself a goal. Alright, so it's straight back to Premier League action here a few games later and it is derby day, our first derby of the season, but Arsenal 15. Oh my goodness. Why are we coming on as a cam? Why are we going on as a cam? Arteta! What are the tactics? Lovely ball from Eddie and Ketia. Wow. Send that up the field. Eddie and Ketia making a run there. And Ketia shoots. Oh. And after a couple more minutes of play in this North London derby, and Ketia finally got the chance to prove himself. Alright, penalty. For Arsenal, Eddie and Ketty in the 90th minute. Yes! Let's get in! Eddie and Ketty in the 90th minute wins us the derby, our first derby of the season. Let's go, boys! Eddie and Ketty had done it. 
a 90th minute pen scored by himself had meant that Arsenal were the winners here at home in this North London derby. But was Arteta impressed? Bruh, we've just beat Tottenham Hotspurs through an Eddie goal. And Arteta, you're still not impressed? You're still not impressed? I'm almost a reserve here at the club. Seriously? All right, boys, so we are now at the halfway point of the season. Well, we're past the halfway point of the season. It is January, the transfer window is open. And as you can see there, Eddie has submitted a transfer request. With Arteta not giving him enough games to improve and become the best football player in the world. At the age of 23, Eddie and Ketia wants to leave Arsenal Football Club. I didn't put in that transfer request. That was all down to him. Arteta was not giving him enough games, so it's only fair that he leaves. He wants to become the best football player in the world, and he needs games to do that. But which club will we be going to? And it wasn't long until club Leicester City put an £18.4 million bid for the striker. And just like that, we were off to improve ourselves at Leicester City. Where are we going to get more games over here? Alright, Leicester City have got a cup game. It is a replay against Forest Green. They already won the lot, but we are coming on for Jamie Vardy. So let's see if we can impress Brendan Rodgers here. And it was time. Coming on in the FA Cup game at Forest Green, Eddie Nketiah shakes hands with Jamie Vardy and goes onto the pitch to impress Brendan Rodgers. Oh my god, beautiful ball. Eddie Nketiah takes it down, lovely touch. Are we going to have the finishing? Yes, we are. And there we go, it finishes 2-0 here to Leicester City. Eddie Nketiah with a lovely goal there and Harvey Barnes with an earlier one in the 33rd minute. Very good replay. Our chances didn't stop to impress there though as it was straight back to league action as we came on for James Madison to impress in the midfield role. This was it, our first game for Leicester City in the league. What's Eddie going to do? What's Eddie going to do? Draws it back, plays it in, turn. Still got it though. Where's the help, boys? Where's the help? Eddie and Ketia coming back. Eddie and Ketia. Eddie and Ketia sends his man on a little run. Eddie and Ketia turns, shoots, finds the net with that shot there and makes it 2-0 to Leicester City in his second game for the club. It was then back to the King Power Stadium as we took on Nottingham Forest. Eddie and Ketia. Beautiful run by Eddie and Ketia. One-on-one, -on -one, slows it down though. Picks his corner. That's why he slowed it down and Kalor Navas there beat the new Nottingham goalkeeper is beat by Eddie Inketia. We are finally in the starting 11. Brendan Rodgers has been impressed by our performances and he has given us a chance today away against Newcastle. Brendan, we won't let you down. Assistencia de Xavi Mesca para Eta para Messi, 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 at St. James's Park. And let's go, it's all done here at St. James's Park. A 2-0 victory here and a brace for Eddie Nketiah on his first team debut. Jamie Vardy is quaking right now on the bench. Now I'm panicking. Yeah, Don't panic. No, I am because I'm gonna lose my job. Leicester had also made it to the Emirates FA Cup final and we were playing Giants Manchester City. Here was a chance for Nketiah to really impress on a major stage, but could he do it? Eddie Nketiah, ball into the box. Lovely, fine. Oh! Harlan on a penalty kick. Save! And it wasn't too long after this Harlan miss that Nketiah got the chance that he'd been waiting for since he came on. Eddie Nketiah. Yes! Come on, boys! We're back in it! And after some very good possession play and holding it down at the back, we managed to see ourselves through to a penalty shootout with Manchester City. This was major. Oh my God. It is a penalty shootout. We hold it down in extra time and manage to bring it to pens. This is it, Manchester City versus Leicester City in penalties to see who will be winners of the Emirates FA Cup.
beautiful tournament. Lovely save. Down the middle. Oh my god. It's going well. Harden. Another chance here. Another save. Let's go. Eddie. Already scored once. Scores two. Let's go. This is it. Oh my god. Manchester City are bottling it hard. Mares to try and keep them in it. I know he's a left footer. Oh. Oh crap. Let's go! Let's go! Manchester City absolutely bottle it. Absolutely bottle I thought that went in. But he hits the post. And how calm and collected is our keeper? He just scoops it up. Leicester City winners here at Wembley of the Emirates FA Cup. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Nketiah leaves Arsenal and joins Leicester City on his journey to becoming the world's best footballer and developing and ends up winning an FA Cup. It's feeling like that 2015-2016 season again at Leicester City where they won the league. Instead, we have won the FA Cup. All right, what a way to end our first season here as Eddie Nketiah. That move from Arsenal to Leicester City definitely helped us out quite a bit. We're finishing here on a 79 rated. Eddie and Ketia. We finish 10th in the Premier League and we win the FA Cup as you saw. So let's see what season two has to bring us and if we can maybe, maybe have a great impact towards the Ballon d'Or. As the new season kicked off, it looked like things were on the rise for Eddie and Ketia. But then we received an email and you know by now what that means. Bro, just use me for a season. What? I won you guys the FA Cup. I basically won you guys the FA Cup. What? But to become the best football player in the world, we were going to need to head to a much, much bigger club. And where's bigger than Atletico Madrid, who made a £29.3 million bid for the player. So as you already know, we packed our stuff and once again, we were on the move. This time out of England and over to Spain, where we were going to start our career for Atletico Madrid. And it wasn't long until we had our first chance to impress in our game against Real Madrid. Eddie, Eddie against Courtois. A very good keeper. A very good keeper. But is he good enough against Eddie? No, he isn't. And Eddie bags his first goal for Atletico Madrid. Yeah, he just does that, man. He goes through. On a run, Eddie Nketiah for two. A very impressive start to Eddie Nketiah's Spanish career here at Atletico Madrid. Not only did he manage to score himself a brace in the goal against Real Madrid, but he went on to ruin Villarreal and made it like he's playing Yeovil Town. Jesus, Eddie, calm down, man. That was a quick sim. But just as this star in the making was rising to the occasion, every occasion, coming from being a sub oh. to being in the starting 11, receiving match balls, match awards, you name it, he got it. Even player of the month, disaster soon struck. A late blow in a home game had left Eddie Nketiah on the floor and it did not look like he was getting up anytime soon. How this player even got away with this challenge is beyond me. He tried to gut bust us. But anyway, this now meant that Memphis Depay was back in the starting 11. As Eddie sat in the dressing room and watched his teammates come in, this physio came over and gave us the news. We were out for five months. Basically the rest of the season. We were and not only that, Simeone had decided we were no longer part of his plans as we could no longer prove that we were worthy to be at Atletico for the rest of the season. <laughs> season three is here and would you look who's come knocking? Real Madrid. Madrid had obviously seen the talent in Eddie before he got injured and were keen to make us part of their squad. They helped us get match fit once again and we were ready to once again go on that charge of becoming the greatest footballer in the world. And where better to pick things up where he left off than in a Champions League game? Let's go! Edwin Ketter won the lot in his first UCL start for Real Madrid. Still got a chance to make something from it though. Eddie and Ketia. Oh, in, in. Breath. 
That's a pen. Trying to injure me again. Eddie and Ketia steps up to take it. Can get himself a brace on his first UCL game start. Gonna go down the middle. All right, boys, so we have simmed it quite forward now. And Eddie and Ketia has really found his form this season. My God. Not only is he the top goal scorer in the Champions League, but he's also the top goal scorer in his league as well, which is crazy. He's gone up to an 86 overall in his third season. His third season, that move to Real Madrid really paying off here after getting injured at Alefico. But as you can see today, we are playing Bayern Munich in the second leg of the Champions League and we are 2-1 down currently on aggregate. So hopefully we can go in today and make a real impact. Look at Eddie Nketiah making a brilliant run. Eddie Nketiah through on goal in nine minutes only. Are we going to slot it? Yes, we do. We are 2-2 on aggregate with Bayern Munich and it's only been nine minutes. This is going to be a comeback by the looks of it. Eddie Nketiah through once again. Eddie Nketiah over the top ball, slots it. Oh, Eddie Nketiah puts us in the league. One last chance it looks like. Oh, backs it. Still in the air though. Still chance to make something out of it. Eddie Nketiah yeah, takes it down. Eddie Nketiah yeah, just trying to lose his man but loses the ball. And that is it. Comeback of the century for Eddie Nketiah. Yeah. What a game he had. Scored in nine minutes and then 50, almost 50 minutes later, scored again. And brings us to the finals of the Champions League. Eddie Nketiah, yeah, wow. Really on form this season. Can we win the Ballon d'Or? Surely we must be in it for the Ballon d'Or. Player of the season, baby. Eddie and Ketia. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking very, very good. All right, and here we are, the finals of the Champions League. The boys have made it, and we are playing Juventus. It's going to be an interesting 90 minutes, but I feel like we're going to be able to pull it out of the bag. The boys have got this. Solo run here already. Vinicius Jr. lightning quick. Eddie and Ketia following up, though. Vinicius Jr. swings it into Eddie and Ketia. Bang! First goal in the finals of the Champions League. And it belongs to Eddie Nketiah. The top goal scorer of this tournament. Gets his goal in the finals of the Champions League. Let's go, Eddie. Here we go, Rodrigo. Just holding it up. Eddie Nketiah calls for it. Eddie Nketiah beats his man. Bang! Two for Eddie Nketiah. Two for Eddie Nketiah. The man's on fire this season. We are champions, Eddie Nketiah there, getting himself three goals in the finals of the Champions League. And we are champions. Wow. It feels mad even saying that. Eddie Nketiah has won himself a Champions League. By September, Eddie Nketiah grabbed himself another La Liga Player of the Month award and he showed no signs of slowing down with the form that he was in. 12 games, 12 goals 12 games 12 goals think about it the man even went on to set a la liga history beacon this boy was on fire as alicia keys would say he looked like nothing was going to stop him and as the shortlist for ballon d'or approached we saw our face baby our face is up there with some of the greats. Eddie Nketiah's face is plastered next to the likes of Haaland, Mbappe, and Vinicius Jr. But who was going to win it was the question. Surely it was going to be Nketiah to lift the ball. Oh you got God, this bro. robot. Hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on. Anyway, life went on, and the next season we not only helped England bring home the World Cup in a 4 1 thrashing against Brazil but we also finished the season like this surely surely they will give me the Ballon d'Or look at that finish I have to oh my god are you serious bro and so although things were going great in La Liga Haaland was making the Prem look like a farmers league and we needed exactly that so it was back on our plane and we were off to Milan to become the newest striker for AC Milan all right, boys, so we are now here at AC Milan in hopes of winning the Ballon d'Or before we turn 30. 
the dirty 30s. Eddie Nketiah is now 93 rated, which is crazy. And he has straight away been put into the starting squad. And as you can see, we are crucial. We are crucial. Unlike at Real Madrid where we were important, even though we were like the top goal scorer for like two seasons and what's not, we were important because Vinicius was still the favourite. Over in Italy, in Milan, we are seen as crucial, which is beautiful. On top of that, we are straight away in the starting lineup, which is great. And AC Milan aren't doing too bad either. They are second on the table, only a point behind Juventus. We could have a very good season here, joining them. And hopefully we will pick up that Ballon d'Or. Jesus Christ. And we tore them up. Me and Rafael Leal are doing bits. It didn't take Eddie Nketiah long at all to pick up where he left off in Spain over in Italy. Completely tearing apart that last team. The man's a menace, bro. That was another sim. Me and Rafael Leal are looking like MSN. Apart from the fact that it's only the two of us. Alright, our next game at AC Milan is a massive one in the league as we play top of the table, Juventus. As I said before, they are one point ahead. If we can grab all three points today, that may be massive in us winning the league. Let's see what Eddie can do. Eddie and Ketia there, just making a run. Calls for it. Eddie and Ketia plays it one more time. Through, on goal. Eddie and Ketia in the middle there, we just can't find them. Eddie and Ketia with it. Goes through. Eddie and Ketia through on goal. Ooh, that is nice placement from Eddie and Ketia. And we are one nil up. And it seemed like this one goal from Eddie and Ketia was a lethal blow as Juventus did not manage to get themselves back in the game. But trust me, this one goal was not all Eddie and Ketia had in his locker for this season. This man was on a mission and as he picked up multiple Man of the Match awards, he continued to make himself a household name at AC Milan grabbing players of the month award. He also improved himself as an overall player. He then went on to win the league with AC Milan, which was incredible. He also scored an amazing header in a UCL final, giving AC Milan the Champions League trophy and naming his club, AC Milan, the best club in Europe. His second Champions League trophy. This surely was the season where Eddie could lift the Ballon d'Or. It was surely his, not Haaland. Not Haaland's please. And as we finish the season like this, look at that season, man. All that was left to do was to sim to December and see who had made the shortlist. This could be the season. This could be the season. I'm pretty sure we were shortlisted. Oh my God, this could be the season. This could be the season, 2028, 93 rated against Eddie and Ketia at AC Milan. Please, please, this could be the season. Oh my God, boys, this could be the season. All right, boys, here we are. It's the moment of truth. Has Eddie and Ketia won the Ballon d'Or? Please. Yes, we done it. We done it. We done it. Eddie and Ketia has won the Ballon d'Or. He's the player of the year, finally. Eddie Nketiah, player of the year, at last, oh my god, oh my god, we finally done it, <laughs> anyway boys, if you did enjoy this video, please, please, please do smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you are new, as I've said before, we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and this video has taken two days to make. I thought the last video that I've done for Blackpool was long. This has taken two days. But anyway, boys, I've enjoyed it. It's great to see that Eddie and Ketty has finally won a Ballon d'Or at last. Oh, it's deserved. And it feels good. It feels very, very good. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, you can check out this one here. Like I said, one more time, if you are new, subscribe to the channel so we can hit 10,000 subscribers. Share this video with your friends. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.